Hi, it's Lee from ColouringQueen.net and today I've got a nice book for you. It's from the Royal Horticultural Society and it's their floral colouring book. Now this book measures 25 centimetres approximately, which is about 10 inches by about 21 and a half centimetres or about 8 and a half inches. It's very well presented. It's got a nice uh, matte cover on it has a lot of texture and it's really quite thick if you can see along the line here so it's quite sturdy and it's an actual quite a big colouring book because it's got the spine with the writing on it and a lovely colour on the back there some beautiful printing work opening it up got a really firm card cover on this side and a soft piece of paper here now you could probably you know, put some gel pen around that if you wanted, but you really don't need to. There's other images in here to colour. Now, as the name suggests, it's all about florals. So we have a double page spread of lovely little flowers to colour in. And nice little title page. There's some elements on there to colour. And then we start to get into the book proper. Now on the left hand side we have a colour plate of the flower to demonstrate what it's meant to look like and on the right hand side we have the line art for it. The paper quality is really good. It's at least a medium quality paper and it may even be you know, a little bit more. It is very good. It is a shame that the coloured image is on the back of the, the line art there because you could um, frame those. They're so beautiful but obviously you want to colour your own as well. And of course it does add a lot of extra cost doing the coloured printing. So it's always really appreciated uh, when people produce colouring books in that way because it is just so expensive. And unless you've got a large publishing company behind you, it's really out of the realm for most colouring book artists. So as you can see, the line work varies depending on the type of flower that you've got the line art for. Some have a heavier outline on them with finer details and some have a medium line weight on them. So you have a big range there, but the line art is consistently black and very crisp and easy to see. Now you will notice as I'm turning the pages of the book that it's laying down without any help at all from me. And that's the binding on this book. It's been bound in a special way just to make it super easy for you to colour in. You will also notice that the images are running up near the spine but no hands and you can see that it's just laying down flat without any help at all from me. Some of the books I have to be quite forceful with to get them to lay down.
here we have it, the floral colouring book. As you can see, it's got some lovely imagery in there. It's got some beautiful coloured pictures as well. Nice crisp line work. And of course, it lays down flat super easy. Until next time, happy colouring.